So we're at Clove Show 2012 and it's all about the fashion. And even more importantly, we need an expert. I've got Karen here who is a uh, like, Clove Show veteran. You've been here, you know the brand. How does it feel to be here for 2012? It's, it's a fantastic thing because it's a lovely vibe. You know, there are lots of people that come back year after year after year. And, you know, I think it's really established itself as a kind of feel-good festival for clothes. But, of course, there's yeah. music. You've got people like JLS coming. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that, you know, uh, young girls come with their mums. There's plenty for both age groups. You know, there's lots of teen gangs on the prowl. And, you know, from what I'm hearing, because actually it's quite important for me to say to people when I come off stage, and how are you finding it? And have you enjoyed it? And, you know, I was just talking to two young girls who were saying, oh, we think it's fantastic value for money because there's so much to do and see. So that's lovely. You've obviously got a great style yourself. I mean, what I want to find out from you is what do you think is going to be big in 2013? Individuality. I actually feel that things are changing, that more and more of us don't want to wear a uniform. We actually don't want these instructions around get the look and this is the trend and that's how you do it. And then lo and behold, there's a magazine going and you didn't do it right. And she's <laughs> not getting, you know, I mean, I just kind of feel like that's so dated, that thinking. Yeah. And that it is all about self-styling. It's all about sustainable um, approaches as well. This whole idea that you buy, 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 throw, 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 landfill, landfill, landfill. We are all, um, you know, it's we're great. all involved yeah. and we're all to blame. And actually, we all need to take responsibility. So, but not just um, ethical sourcing for clothing, actually, ethical behavior from the fashion industry, not just around what um, it's making but how it's making young women feel. I mean, I really want to find out a little bit more about this. Would you say it was a charity that you run? Or? Well, Walks Beyond the Catwalk is just a voluntary organisation. Um, it's co-founded by um, me, Erin O'Connor, yeah. and PR guru, Deborah Bourne. And all the work we do is voluntary. And we pull in amazing people from ID Magazine to Rankin to Nick Knight. We work with the British Fashion Council, London Fashion Week. We've been at the National Portrait Gallery. Everybody contributes their services. So we, we get this incredible message out there. We have a website, allwalks.org, where there's lots of images. And I think it's really important for you know women who love fashion to know that actually we as an industry, well, there are some of us who feel that we have to be um, kinder, more considerate, more inclusive. We have to think about the self-esteem of you know women who love fashion and especially when you know that a young woman today sees more images of unachievable beauty in one day than I did in my entire adolescence and that doesn't go nowhere it goes in there and so as an industry we have so much power to make really positive messages about self-esteem why aren't we using it Completely. You know what? I'm intrigued. Like, thank you so much, Karen, for talking to me and taking the time. It's been absolutely fantastic. Are you going to be buying anything here at the Clove Show? Yes. Definitely. But <laughs> buying. Let's go shop. <laughs>